Hey, this is 2.0. Just want to make a video um, real quick about this card. Um, it's called NATO card. It's the Illuminati card game. Um, these cards tell people what they're going to do ahead of, t uh, ahead of time because it's already planned. Um, it says, get, okay, here's the card. It says NATO. It has uh, what seems to be a uh, scarecrow. And uh, it looks like looks like a Vladimir Zelensky, like they put Vladimir Zelensky in that position. Looks like they put uh, you know, they put a puppet government in place, NATO, because it has Russia. You see the Russia, you see the star on the on the on the thing, right? And this could mean. I don't think this is a Vladimir Zelensky card because it has Russian thing on there. Maybe this is an attempt to um, maybe install a puppet, a puppet government for themselves in Russia. Maybe a, a new president for Russia. You, you never know. I mean, they are. I mean, if you look at the war right now, they are pushing back Russia. Right. And they're talking about regime regime change. You hear you hear that you hear regime change a lot. It says, uh, and, and you know this this actually makes sense because it will benefit, um, it will benefit, you know, it will benefit NATO because it, if if Vladimir Putin is replaced, right? Um, NATO will will probably join Russia because they have a puppet government in place. So um, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking that's what this is. It says any attempt to control any nation can interfere in any attack made by or against at against a nation. So yeah, can interfere in any attack made or made by or against a nation. That's what NATO is. That's what NATO does. And if you see the star on it, it has the Russian star. And he's pointing at the head of it, saying, you better do what we tell you to do. That is spooky. And if we go here, this is the this is a, one of the, the leaders in Russia, I mean, um, Ukraine. And look what she's talking about. Right now, it's a critical time because we know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order for the democratic countries. We knew that we are the shield for the euro. Right now, it's a critical time because we know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order. Uh, yeah, love to see it, right? No, you don't love to see it um, because this was already planned from the get go. This was already, this was already in the makings. This is just, the, these cards already, was already made before all this even happened. And if you don't know, well, now you know. Um, computer security. Okay, I'm I'm just looking. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking up these cards real quick. Um. Uh. Doesn't surprise me. Um. Hold on. Trying to find it. It's just aggravating because I can't. Um. Just give me a second, guys.
Well, I'm saying, like, don't be surprised if Vladimir Zelensky um, gets taken out. Um, not, not mean. Not, what am I talking about? Vladimir Zelensky is taken out. I mean, don't be surprised if uh, Putin gets taken out. I'm sorry. Not the hell I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Uh, so don't be surprised if they have a regime change because they've been talking about regime change for, and threatening a regime change. You know, Biden slipped up and said, you know, this man could not remain in power. You know. And they're they're looking at an inside job just like everything else is an inside you know job. So don't be surprised if that happens. So I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised because I'll you'll you'll directly remember this this video. And what the hell? Where what the hell is it? <sighs> Sorry guys. Just trying to trying to find it. I showed you yesterday. Um, I don't know. Whatever. I, I can't find it, but it was the Vladimir Zelensky card. Um, it, it's in my other video. Um, so, if uh, I mean, if you just go back to the other video, you can see it. I I mean, I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Um. Grim Gremlins set what? Um What is this? Hold on, let me check this out. Okay, one pick one rival and you looking um, choose take yourself. Uh, what the hell that's supposed to be? All right, I don't see anything else. I, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't see anything else. Uh, that's pretty much all I want to show you was that um, right there. And um, oh yeah, I, I was trying to find this one video um where oh oh yeah they if you go to truth seeker on youtube they talk about alien saucers being flown around um in ukraine and with all this you know talking about aliens and stuff you never know man this would be the perfect time to roll it out i mean because they have a card of, they have a card of the aliens too on here the little money card game so I mean, this would be a perfect time to roll it out. You know, they have this 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 Project Blue Beam that comes out, right? And it's like a fake alien deception or some crap like that. And you got like this alien invasion, and then this this alien makes like world peace or something. I I, I don't know. I, I'm just throwing shit out there. I'm just saying like they they could really make a big deception right now at this point in time. I mean, you got Ukraine going on. You got you got so much stuff going on. I mean. The one niner. I mean, they could really roll out Project Blue Beam at any moment. I mean, this these people are just criminal. Um, you got the purple street lights. I mean, you got all this crap going on. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, what's this right here? Why does he do that? Why does he whisper into the mic? That, 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 I, don't, I don't know. Why, I don't know why he does that, bro. I just it's crazy. I don't know why he does that. Um, and things are only going to continue to get worse because you have uh, you have uh, uh, you know, all this stuff going on in Disney World. And the the president of uh of uh France got reelected um because the other lady threatened to get rid of NATO, which would have probably put a big fork in the New World Order. But since he got reelected, that's out the window. Francis presidential runoff this weekend with bated breath. Tonight, 
the world let out a collective sigh of relief as excellent polling shows Emmanuel Marcon defeating Marine Le Pen. For those just tuning in, Le Pen represents a darker trend throughout the Western world. Last week, French President Emmanuel Marcon only barely beat his far-right challenger. Tonight, he beat her soundly, which should give us hope. Remember, this was a rematch of the race Marcon won five years ago. Back then, French voters resoundingly rejected Le Pen and her extreme agenda. She's run on a nationalist, anti-immigrant agenda, calling for France to follow Britain out of the European Union. She's promised to ban Muslim women from wearing headscarves in public. She's praised Putin. And her party has a long history of ties with Nazi collaborators. So why were the polls showing her uncomfortably close to becoming elected president of the Fifth Republic? First, she's part of a movement growing across the country and across the world. It's not just France. Across Europe and here at home, we're seeing a nationalist movement that also embraces authoritarianism. That's no coincidence. Far-right figures from Le Pen to Britain's Nigel Farage to our own Steve Bannon see themselves as part of a coordinated push to undermine our democratic values. Stop right there. And that's what I was talking about yesterday. That's exactly what I was talking about yesterday, where they put Trump in that position to destroy the Republican Party. Remember I told you about that? Look at that. Look at the last video I just made when they told me about they put him in there as the MAGA party, this far right movement that's going on across the world. This is why Democrats are getting reelected. And that's what you just seen here with the um, uh, the guy over there in France got reelected because no one wants this extremism that there. Th this is all being. The lady right here that, that ran for office talking about pushing us out of the European Union. That's what Trump did, right? That's what that's what Trump wanted it to do. He wanted us to get separate from from NATO. That's what she wanted to do. Do, do you do you see a pattern that's going on here? It's purposely being done. It's purposely being done. If you look at it, it doesn't take a genius to look to, to understand what they're doing. These people are purposely running on this far right extremism for it it's all planned people this is all to do with keeping a democratic socialism agenda in play okay this is this is this is planned these people are not elected they're selected i'm telling you this is what's going to happen in 2024 i'm i'm i guarantee i guarantee this is what's going to happen because this is the same agenda Trump was pushing. Far right extreme, moving us out of NATO, mo moving us out of the European Union. This is exactly what he ran on. Telling you. Why? Second, her rise in the polls have been greeted by too many French voters with a yawn. Five years ago, with the energy to defeat a figure like Le Pen, was a little bit absent. However, now, after five sometimes disappointing years with Macron at the helm, polls show that some French voters who opposed the Le Pen were going to stay home. It's a deadly politics that William Butler Yeats predicted. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. We've seen how badly this can end. In my own life, my husband's family was forced to flee France when the Nazis marched in with their violent, hateful ideology. How and what she was saying, she the, the lady I was running against Penn on here for the French presidency, she was praising Putin. What does Trump do? He praises Putin. Oh, he's strong. You know, he's very, what he said, he's something, he's a genius. What does she do? What does she that's what I'm talking about. They, it's a movement because they want it to be a movement. This was the whole plan to make them look like the bad guys. I'm telling you, this is what I'm talking about. However, tonight, French voters mustered the energy to hand Le Pen the defeat she deserves. And we will find out here at home in November whether something will happen here. For now, it's time to start working hard to scaffold our democracy. Another parallel between France and the United States? Marcon is experiencing lower approval ratings going into the election than Biden has today. But I do believe that polls can never substitute voter sensibility. Our nation is in recovery, and recovery is not often fast, but it does need an opportunity to breathe. November may bring us further along. 
more Americans might channel that French energy because there's another lesson Reed Brokart taught us in Casablanca. Courage is contagious. Well, there you go. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully that um, explains something to you. Hopefully <sighs> you got a message out of that. Um, but uh, this stuff is all planned, and everything you see going on, man, it's just, don't don't be fooled, man. This this is all planned. This is everything that's going on. Food shortages. <sighs> It's just crazy, man. It's so many distractions, too. They have, like, a Johnny Depp um, trial. They have uh, they have so many things going on, man. It's just... Uh... But now you see. Now you see. All right, guys. See, man. Like, like subscribe, share. Do whatever. I, I, I really I really appreciate it. If you like the like the video, I, I need the likes uh, to get this video out so more people, more people can see it. Would appreciate you to come back and watch more videos. There's more to come. All right, see you guys.